Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Uh, friends, today we are revisiting Lena Kapavir at the request of our subscriber Vicky. Some of you might remember a previous video where we discussed this uh, as Sun Lenka. But before we dive in, I want to talk about something that's really important to me. And um, that while uh, genomics investments are our primary focus, I've grown uh, emotionally attached to creating HIV therapy content to bring hope to our global audience. However, I'm facing a challenge. Despite our best efforts in the HIV space, we only have three Patreons and five channel members. My goal was 100 members by year end, but we are falling severely short of that number. I deeply appreciate the support of our current members and Patreons. Of the five members, only two have joined for HIV content. In response to your feedback, I have removed the feature that lists members on our homepage and increased members-only content. Our genomics investment uh, content is growing steadily, but not as fast as HIV content. As a content creator, I put a lot into this channel, hoping to make it uh, financially viable. However, more focus on HIV content without gaining members is challenging my ability to create genomics investment videos. And I don't want that to happen. So here's my final appeal to those who appreciate our HIV content and want us to continue beyond this year. Please consider hitting that join button and becoming a member today. Your support means the world to me and will determine our path in 2024. With that said, let's get started. <music> Welcome back. Let's talk about Lenica Pavir or Sun Lenka from uh, Gilead. Uh, to understand this therapy, you need to understand the importance of the HIV capsid. We hadn't spoken about the HIV capsid in detail in our earlier versions of this video. So the HIV capsid is a cone-shaped protein uh, shell and it's composed of uh, capsid protein subunits. Its primary role is to protect the viral RNA genome as the virus enters and navigates between host cells. Lenacapavir is a capsid protein, uh, capsid, uh, protein uh, uh, inhibitor and capsid inhibitors are designed to bind specifically to a capsid protein and this binding disrupts the normal structure and function of the capsid. When capsid protein is compromised, it cannot efficiently transport the viral RNA to the cell nucleus. This step is crucial for the virus to integrate the genetic material into the host DNA. The disruption of uh, capsid uh, function prevents the integration of HIV's genetic material into the host cell's DNA. Without integration, the virus cannot effectively replicate and produce uh, new virus particles. Capsid in inhibitors offer a unique uh, mechanism of action which may be effective against strains of HIV that have developed resistance to other classes of antiretroviral drugs. They may offer a longer duration of protection and hence less frequent dosing. On December 22, 2022, Gilead Sunlenka or Lenkapivir received uh, approval from the US Food and Drug Administration or FDA uh, to be used alongside other HIV medications for treating adults who have HIV-1 and are not responding well to their current treatments. The adults have, uh, these adults had a type of HIV-1 that was resistant to multiple drugs. Sunlenka works differently from other approved antiretroviral drugs and doesn't show resistance to other drug types. In laboratory tests, it provides a new treatment uh, option that only needs to be taken twice a year for adults whose current HIV treatment uh, isn't effective enough. So the reason why um, Lenacapavir is um, taken along with other HIV drugs is because it's only going to inhibit the caspid creation. So if uh, already uh, the uh, HIV virus is replicating, you need a ART to stop it from replicating and whatever uh, small amount of uh, viral particles uh, that come up, Lenacapavir can be capable of uh, neutralizing it through its uh, capsid action. So that's the reason why it's done this way. And as you know, uh, in our one of our earlier videos where we had looked at the price of uh, various um, uh, treatments, whenever a treatment is standalone, it's very expensive, but Lenacapavir is not standalone, it's along with others. So I'm expecting that its cost would be less than $4,000 uh, 
uh, for each cycle. So that's my uh, expectation. You can check it in your local pharmacy. I think it's available in US, uh, Europe, uh, and um, South Africa. Uh, I do not know if it's available in other parts of the world, uh, but I think it's definitely available in India, if I'm not mistaken, but I couldn't find any evidence other than uh, some pharmacies offering to sell a dose of uh, lenacapavir. So that said, lenacapavir is taken uh, in a specific regimen. Uh, initially, it's taken as a pill uh, three times uh, within, a, uh, within an uh, eight-day period. So there's a sequence of taking this. Approximately one week after the third oral dose, uh, nurses will give two injections of lenacapavir just under the skin in the abdomen. Following these initial injections, uh, additional injections are given every 26 weeks. So once in every six months, uh, which is, um, uh, I mean, very, very convenient for people who are taking uh, ART on a daily basis. So this is a very, uh, very nice uh, facility that once in every six months you take uh, lenacapavir and it's going to give you a much better quality of life. And, um, and there are other uh, drugs which will be taken along with it in order to keep the virus under control. It's important to note that lenacapavir is not used on its own. It's part of a combination treatment approach. This means that individuals using uh, lenacapavir will also need to take other daily HIV medication in pill form. The most effective way to combat the virus is by combining lenacapavir with anti-HIV drugs. By targeting HIV uh, uh, capsid, lenacapavir in interferes with multiple early to late stage uh, processes of the viral life cycle, uh, which is the nuclear uh, transport, uh, the virus assembly and release, as well as caspid, uh, capsid assembly. Lenacapavir binds directly to HIV capsid in a pocket between capsid protein subunits uh, as a hexamer. The uh, HIV capsid is a protein shell that uh, encloses the viral genetic material and is composed of multiple copies of uh, capsid proteins assembled into uh, hexamers and uh, pentamers. Uh, in early uh, stages of the virus life, uh, life cycle, uh, lenacapavir interferes with the uh, capsid-mediated uh, nuclear import of HIV-1 proviral uh, DNA as it targets the same uh, capsid binding site uh, utilized by host factors that aid in the viral uh, nuclear import and integration. In late stages of HIV life cycle, uh, lenacapavir interferes with uh, the functioning of uh, the GAG or gag pole and uh, reduces uh, capsid uh, protein subunit production. Additionally, lenacapavir increases the rate of HIV capsid assembly resulting in uh, abnormalities in uh, capsid structure. However, the clinicalinfo.hiv.gov website uh, states that uh, the treatment emergent resistance uh, to lenacapavir has been reported in the phase two slash three Capella trial evaluating lenacapavir for HIV treatment. This means that uh, during the phase two uh, slash three clinical trial known as Capella, where lenacapavir was being tested as a treatment for HIV, some participants developed resistance to lenacapavir while they were receiving the treatment. So in clinical trials, researchers closely monitor how well uh, new medication works and whether there are any side effects uh, or issues that arise when people take it. In this case, they observed that in some individuals uh, that were given uh, lenacapavir for the HIV treatment in the Capella trial, the virus developed resistance to the medication. This means that the drug was no longer effective for suppressing the HIV virus in those particular patients. The emergence of uh, resistance is an important consideration in the development of new HIV treatment because it can limit the long-term effectiveness of the medication. Researchers and healthcare providers need to carefully assess how resistance develops and how to manage it uh, in a, a clinical practice in order to ensure that the drug remains a suitable and viable option for those living with HIV. So the pra uh, practitioners who are going to administer lenacapavir have to keep in mind all these aspects and monitor the patients on a regular basis to confirm whether there's a resistance developed or not. So friends, that is a more deeper dive into lenacapavir. Here we discussed about what is a HIV uh, capsid protein, they are, uh, how they are composed, and how lenacapavir uh, embeds itself into the HIV capsid 
and um, it disrupts the various processes that HIV uh, goes through which require the assistance of the uh, caspid such as nuclear uh, transport uh, for uh, capsid formation and those kind of things and um, uh, the fact that uh, lenacapavir has to be taken along with other HIV medi medications and uh, I think the price is around $4,000 for a dose. Uh, so that's uh, that's my uh, understanding from looking at what's happening in the U.S. Uh, approval is in the U.S., European Union, and South Africa. I do not know about other parts of the world, but because you're going to ask the question, I've checked in India. I've seen a few pharmacies talking about selling lenacapavir. Uh, I, I don't know what's happening in other parts of Africa or Middle East, but uh, that's the information I have, my friends. I hope you found this uh, video useful. And thanks for patiently listening to the initial part of my video. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing more of you in the member section. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.